Hello and welcome to this video on finding the median and median class interval from frequency tables. Now let's just say that we've got this frequency table here, we've got these different number of points and we've got the number of people with each of those number of points. We've got four people with 10 points, two people with 20 points, etc. Now if you want to find the median in the conventional way, the long way to do it would be to list out all those values and then find the middle value. So if we actually list them out, we've got four people with 10 points, so let's write 10 points four times. We've got four lots of 10 points. We've got two people got 20 points, so 20 occurred twice. Then three people scored 30, and one person scored 40. So if we just found the median the conventional way, we'd count into the middle, da, 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 and we can see, well, halfway between 20 and 20 is just 20. So we could see that the median is 20. But the table was really big, and we had very high frequencies. We wouldn't be able to do that. Now, notice we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 values, which is the same as the total frequency. And we used halfway between the fifth value and the sixth value. Now, if we've got an even number of things, in this case, 10 values, then to find the position of the middle one, you just halve it. So half of 10 is the fifth. And we use halfway between that value and the next value, so the fifth and the sixth would be where the median lies, halfway between those two values. So if you had, say, four values, you halve that to get two, and you use halfway between the second and the third. So what we then say, OK, we want halfway between the fifth and the sixth value. Let's just concentrate on the fifth value. Does the fifth value lie within the first four values? No, it doesn't. But does it lie within the first six values? You can see, after we've included both these rows, we've seen six people, the fifth value and the sixth value are within the first six values, and so therefore we'd know the median would be 20. What we can do is kind of almost add an extra cumulative frequency column. And the cumulative frequency, we see that in another video, just means the running total. So the running total up to here, we've seen four items. The running total up to here is six items. The running total up to here is nine. And the running total up to here is 10. And we have 10 items. So we can see more easily where the fifth and sixth item lie. So they don't lie within the first four, but they do lie within the first six. And so we therefore know the median is 20 points. Now let's do it with this group frequency table. Let's do exactly the same thing. We know the total frequency is 1 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 is 20. So we've got 20 items, 20 values. And the median item is halfway between the 10th value and the 11th value. Remember, we just half 20 to get the position of the median and use one after that as well. So we went halfway between the 10th and 11th. Let's just focus on the 10th. Does it occur within the first one value? No. Does it occur within the first nine values? No. But does it occur within the first 16 values? Yes, it does. And therefore, it lies in this interval. But notice this time, we can't actually find the median. We don't know the original values. We know that one person had a weight between 10 and 12 kilograms. Eight people had a weight between 12 and 15 kilograms. But we don't know of those eight people what their exact weight was. So we can't work out the median because we don't have the original data. But we do know that the 10th and length values occur somewhere within that interval. And we call that the median class interval. So we don't know the median, but we do know the interval in which the median lies. And we call that the median class interval. And that is equal to 15, it's less equal to W, it's less than 20. So we just copy out that. Now I want you to have a go at these two questions here. I want you to find the median of this frequency table, and I want you to find the median class interval of this grouped frequency table. You may want to pause the video here to have a go at that. Right, let's do the first one. What is the median? Well, let's count how many items we have. 4 plus 7 is 11, plus 9 is 20. So again, we halve that, uh, which is 10, so we want somewhere between the 10th and the 11th items. So does it occur within the first four items? No, it doesn't. Does it occur within the first four items again? The running total by the end of this is four, no. But does it occur within the first 11 items? Four plus seven is 11. And yes, they do. So we know therefore that the median age is equal to seven. What about this one? How many items do we have? 11 plus eight plus seven plus four is 30. So therefore, 
If we halve that, that's the 15th item, that's the middle position. So we want halfway between the 15th and 16th. So we want halfway between the 15th and 16th. Now let's see, do the 15th and 16th items occur within the first 11 items? No. But do they occur within the first 19 items? 11 plus 8 is 19. Yes, yes they do. So we therefore know the median lies somewhere in this interval. So the median class interval is h is between 1.4 and 1.8 meters. Well done if you got that right.